Live from 904 Southside Drive, it's Friday night. Holiday frenzy. Scores below the bottom of your screen throughout the program. We have a bevy of holiday highlights coming your way right now. Let's start in Collinsville. Prairie Farms Classic, one of the premier tournaments in the state. And MacArthur trying to get some payback against Collinsville, who knocked him out last year in the semifinals. So let's see what happens. General's off to a really good start. A.J. Lawson gives them the early lead. Mac really looked like the more athletic team in this game. Keon Jones flies in like a pterodactyl for the putback. Start of a huge game for Mr. Jones. And Kerry Talaferro tries to dunk it, misses it. But Jones is there for another one of his 11 rebounds. Keon doing it all. Can't spell Jones without the J. 28 points, but Collinsville runs away with it in the fourth quarter, 70-57. Here comes Lincoln, trying to punch a ticket to the semifinals, taking it to Granite City. Caden Froby gets a pick from Jermaine Hamlin and drains it. Hamlin was the best player on the court. 24 points, 6 of 8 from the floor, and here's the most impressive stat. 12 for 12 from the charity stripe, 100%. Railers win 52-47, but they lose in the semifinals, unfortunately. Defending champ Southeast absolutely demolished Edwardsville. They're taking this tournament by storm. Sharpshooter Deion Matthews, three for three from deep. Then D squared, Damon Davis with the theft. Oh, what a move and the finish. This is an early game, 9 a.m. game, so long day. Players taking some naps up there in the bleachers. Spartans are more than just an offensive juggernaut. They play D, too. Devin Blue takes the charge. And watch what Terry Murdix does to... Or number 22 there. He had a game high 17 points. Spartans win 85 36. They'll play Collinsville in the championship, but horrible news to report from this. Anthony Fairley suffered what looked like a serious knee injury. Their star player left on a stretcher. Thoughts with him. We, we hope to see Anthony back on the court really soon. Wish him a speedy recovery. All right, consolation bracket action. Eisenhower taking on Altoff Catholic. Trenton Whitelow. Nice find to Davion Fitzpatrick. Panthers up one, R.J. Walker. Two of his 15 points, nice take there. Good to see Brylon Phillips, look at this move. In the paint, spin, turn around, floater. It's good. Altoff outscores Ike 24 to 10 in the third quarter to blow this game open, 78-61. Panthers fall. It's championship night at the Sages Holiday Hoopla. GCMS and PBL squaring off in the title game. Dalton Busboom, any relation to Scott Busboom? Talk 101s, I don't know, perhaps. Gibson City takes over. Ryland Holt had a monster week here in Monticello. Gets the finish there, and then, you know, GCMS is really good at football, too. And Ben Freehill with the interception. Going the other way. Lays it up and in, off the window. Falcons with a big lead here. Bryce Barnes to Holt to Caleb Bleich. Layup is good. Falcons went 0-100 to 100 real quick. They like really, really big rings. They go back to back. Just hold on, Falcon Nation. They're going home. Champions again. Good matchup in the third place game between Monticello and Tuscola. Alec Bundy to David Alexander. Alexander scores. Alexander feeling it in this highlight package. Long two buries it from the corner. Ben Singleton, you know, we're going to see him if it's a Monticello highlight. Bats it away. Bundy recovers. Lays it up and in. Sages dominate. Look at this final score, 53-29. Wow. Let's check out the girls' championship game. Tuscola, Ridgeview, first quarter. River Rosales, one of the best names you're going to hear on the program, I think. River Rosales. Tuscola, Bryn Tabling drives, dumps it off to Lexi Russo. Tuscola with the lead. Tabling, doing work, down the lane. It's good. Congratulations to Scola. They win the championship, 44-38. Just getting started here. Up next, championship night at St. Teresa. Plus, we're headed to Effingham County. See who's moving on in the Christmas Classic. And later, in the holiday frenzy, the dunk of the year. Stick around. This is Carl Rupking, dad of Tyler. You're watching the original Friday Night Frenzy, the best coverage in Central Illinois. Now, back to you, Noah and Gordon.
Thank you, Carl. Gordon is here in spirit. He's up north in Chicago. Actually, actually covered the uh, the Big Dipper the tournament with Adam Miller, and Morgan Park. We're going to see that tomorrow. He's got some great stuff from that. Uh, for the first time since 2012, a team not named St. Teresa will be crowned champions of the St. Teresa Christmas tournament. Who's it going to be? Will it be Riverton, or will it be the upset-minded Hartsburg Inden Stags, who were winless coming into the tournament? Now, the Hawks have outscored their opponents by 25 points per game in this tournament. Six foot six, Travis Hogan, a big reason why he is a matchup nightmare. But give the Stags credit. They came out swinging. They played really hard. They were big underdogs, but they hung in there. Josh Wright says, give me that. And one. Time winding down the first. This is where they, when the Hawks reclaim the momentum. Spencer Yogers put back at the buzzer. And Riverton wins the St. Teresa Christmas Tournament Championship, 44-28. Let's check out the third place game. St. Teresa taking on, hey, Worth, how's it going? All Bulldogs, Jay Boatman, bullet to Christian Stoner, and one. Austin Fitzpatrick, some Fitz magic. Fellow sophomore, Vince Kester, been making plays left and right this week. With a dime to Stoner, that one rolls in. And another sophomore, Tim Schmidt, with the steal and the bucket. Bulldogs take third place, 61-42. And congratulations to LSA's Grant Carson for breaking the tournament scoring record with 112 points in four games. GK1K, the real deal. Tea Time Christmas Classic quarterfinals. Central a and big challenge against Lincoln Way East. Highlights courtesy the right fielder, number 23, Tyler Rupking. Get Bryce Bergner from deep. Bullseye. Connor Heaton, fresh off his 30-point performance last night. Back at it again. Crafty move. Connor Heaton just gets buckets. Raiders trailed by 19 late in the third, but they rally back. Connor Hutchins, count it, and the foul. The Lincoln Way East hangs on, 58-49. Raiders would bounce back and beat Plains in the consolation bracket. Quarterfinal part two to top us against former Wooden Shoes uh, star Kyle Weaver and Pleasant Plains. Dawson Smith and Steve Nash of Effingham County build up from deep. Smith had a huge night. Hesitation. Plains player bites, makes him pay. Then it's Mitch Hardick from the corner. Shoes win a low-scoring slobber knocker at 36-25. So... That sets up this. T-Town and Lincoln Way East for a spot in tomorrow's championship. Smith, force equals mass times acceleration. Throw it down. Then how about the sophomore, Evan Addis, for three. Pizza Prince 2.0. We'd head to overtime and future is bright in T-Town because another sophomore, Evan Wormert, buries the go-ahead triple. They're celebrating at Kenner's Tavern. The shoes are headed to the championship. 60 to 59, they'll face SHG in the finals. Down the road from our station, it's the Eisenhower Tournament. MacArthur with an impressive showing against Tolona Unity. Jada D's inside. And then you'll see freshman Kayla Jackson hit this three-pointer. And this is not a replay. I had to edit this highlight like five times to make sure this wasn't a replay. It's not. Same spot, same result. Mac led 24 to one after the first quarter, and they would cruise to victory. Championship game for this tournament is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Let's go to Charleston. Two of the top girls teams in the area. Effingham and T-Town doing battle. Nice pass to Olivia Niemerg Portois. Other end, the talented Carson Fierde. Cross-court pass to Abby Weiss. Buries the three-pointer. But the Hearts had no answer for Claire Busher. She's unstoppable. T-Town takes it 49-38. All right, coming up next, the dunk of the year. I know I over-exaggerate a lot, but I've never seen anything like it in my time covering Central Illinois Hoops. Central Illinois Hoops, you got to see it. Plus, Solana expert Mark Tupper stops by with an update on the Illinois Hockey Project and his official college football playoff prediction. Frenzy returns in 2 minutes and 14.5 seconds. The play of the day on WAND is brought to you by Menards.